ông cho ông nhầm đây bậc mình to cái trăm đại ca này tại vị trí sáu năm ca hay năm đầu là vị trí ca chun từ cầm mấy vị ca bây giờ đây luôn luôn chia đầm bay miền ông ca đầm mình to cả tăng thông lượng đỉnh đầu nhịp buộc xạ xây sôm chơi Thank you, Mr. President. The, before the break, we talked about um, the year that the security center was closed. And, um, in your interview with uh, Mr. Henri Locar, you have stated that um, when the security center was closed, its documents were destroyed. Do you know why these documents were destroyed? Đói xác cả lấy nó chia tầm bọn bây để phụ Khoai cả hôm bọn tự thư cả lấy xoắn xúc Hơi Cả bọn phái nó đói xa vì cháu thả Phụ môn Người ta phụ khoai cả hôm môn Phụ môn bọn khoai cả hôm môn Phụ khoai cả hôm môn Xúc tay chìa nẹ khắp bọn Phạm được vượt bỏ vỉa đây chứ nế À vầy à vầy cứ Việc trời phát phát đủ, đối chứ này việc trời bỏng phát lại cái lại chắc chào Nói cứ khi nhóm bạc đừng trầm nặng Xem nửa When the security center was destroyed Were people released from this security center And if so, can you give us an estimate as to how many people were released? ពីមន្ទីរសន្សុកនោះពេលដែលគេបិទមន្ទីរសន្សុកនោះបាទនៅពេលដែលលេបិទមន្ទីរសន្សុកនោះគឺមានចំនួនមនុស្សប្រហែ
อัดบายตะหายตึกดูฉะนั้นคือนองสมนุนนี่คือลงนิยายนั่นคือตรัมตรัม Thank you To go back for one moment to the issue of the executions of Lomno soldiers and former Lomno government officials. Do you remember today who was involved in those executions? Who executed those executions? This is the 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 để đặt làm cả làm lập nó cứ phải chia phụ thể hiện thể hiện nó phải chỉ phụ tầm ban cô nhưng mình ban cho bạn đấy ban là thả bị pro nhưng lại nó cứ mình ai chơi bọc bài ban thế cứ đừng thả thả phụ sản xuất cùng đó mà chơi rúm nông ca vô Tại hiện do từ xâm lập nữ đồng bằng này tận lúc mặc cả. And did you personally see any sector soldiers that were involved in those executions, or did you just hear people speak about this? bát cứ khi nhom lưu tại kênh này dễ tới toàn tập khởi cứ ở đại khởi như thế cứ dùng bị chẹt và làm cho bạn chơi. Thank you. I move on to a next topic. And that relates to the. Interviews you've had with the investigators of the OCIJ. The president has asked you on the first day how many interviews you had with the investigators of the OCIJ, and you indicated that you were interviewed twice. And my question to you is: Did you speak about your experience at the Bogro Security Center both times? So, the first time you were interviewed, and the second time that you were interviewed. I will rephrase my question. You have spoken to OCIJ investigators twice. This is correct, is it not? And did you did the investigators ask you about Bungro Security Center on both these occasions? เอ่อจมพัวสมนูได้ค้างเสริมเกตสัวนั้นคือถ้าลูกสัวในในเลือกที่มวยนั้นเอาหายปัญตายเมียนควักจะหลอกคลักได้ลูกเตยบำปิง
And do you remember what the follow-up questions were that they asked you? And do you remember whether that second interview was audio recorded or not? Do you remember whether the first interview that you had with the investigators was audio recorded? បាទសំភាសលើកទីមួយហ្នឹងឃើញថាក្រុមសើបអង្កេតក្តីហ្នឹងគឺមានគ្នាច្រើនដែរគឺថាមានការខ្ញុំចាំបានថាមានសបត់
notes or a notebook during the interview by the co-investigating, during the interview by the investigators of the OCIJ. ปาดเอ่อจมพูสํานวนนี้คือខ្ញុំសំឆ្លើយថានៅពេលដែលรีบทำมาเบอร์ជាសាក់សីនឹងរកមិនឃើញសោះដូច្នេះហើយក៏បានឯកសារពីមេធាវីទេដែលបានមើលដឹងនៅការសភាសរបស់សហសិនគេ when you were being questioned by the investigators, did you use or rely on any notebook or notes that you yourself prepared? ខ្ញុំក៏អត់មានត្រៀមនៅអវ័យទាំងអស់ដូចជាកំណត់ហេតុកំណត់ត្រានៅក្នុងខ្លួនគឺអត់មានទេគឺរណឹកឆ្លើ
When my team listened to the audio recording of your interview, you are asked a certain number of questions, and then it seems that you are saying, could I see my notebook, or could also be translated as, could I see my notes, the Khmer word, it would be Sibu note, and then the investigator says yes, and you then proceed to give a different answer than the one you gave before. So, my question to you is, again, did you use or rely on any notes during your questioning by the investigators of the OCIJ? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, if counsel is going to make representations uh, about the interview tape, he should uh, provide some uh, reference for the court, whether it's a reference to the uh, section of an audio tape or that, uh, but he should not simply uh, himself take on the role of, of testifying in court. He should refer the chamber and the witness to specific evidence if he's going to ask them about the audio recording. Thank you, Mr. President. I am happy to do so. This uh, particular uh, section uh, can be heard on the audio tape of this uh, witness's interview with the OCIJ at exactly 14.00. Uh, uh, minutes and um, the recording is rather poor but um, upon listening and re-listening this is what the witness states and I want to um, give the witness a chance to clarify whether or not he indeed relied on any notes during uh, the questioning by the investigators. Well, uh, we would object uh, to the witness being questioned in this manner. Uh, if uh, counsel uh, wanted to have a transcript prepared of the audio interview, uh, he had plenty of time to do that. He's now stated to the court uh, that the audio recording is extremely unclear. Uh, at a minimal, uh, if the witness is going to be asked this, um, he, should be, he should have designated the audio recording and be prepared to play the excerpt in court. Uh, it's not uh, appropriate uh, for him uh, to characterize a segment from an audio recording that he states himself is very difficult to hear. Mr. President, I'm not trying to rely on uh, this segment of the audio recording. I want the witness to respond based on what we have heard on this audio recording. These audio recordings are available to all the parties uh, as well as to the trial chamber. All the parties could have listened to uh, these recordings. This is what we found. It only now becomes relevant because the witness uh, claims he did not rely on notes. Clearly, we will follow up on this issue, but for now, the simple question is, does this refresh your memory, Mr. Witness, did, or did you not rely on notes, personal notes, during your interview with the co-investigating judges?
Mr. President, in that case, I make a submission to have the audio tape played in court. Again, it only became relevant when the witness uh, denied having relied on notes. Because of the unclear nature of the record, we would ask for it to be um, played two or three times so that it can be properly heard by the Khmer speakers in the room. We have prepared the audio recording and we can um, play it in the courtroom and I would suggest that would clarify all Confusion. <sighs> <sighs> I understand that in order to do so, we would need to ask your um, officer to obtain a copy from the audio recording, and I'm not sure if that can be done. It is ready, so with your permission, we would play it. If indeed the, your officer has by now received it, and I'm trying to look at បាទខាងសតួះចូលបង្ហាញនៅអឺ
nhưng nà để vì giam chập mùi mũi viết bánh cái lửa bánh xin nhu khỉa vì ai mùi giam chân lửa If I may interrupt, I think the relevant segment already uh, passed and I confirmed with my colleague from the Kyosun Pond team that it was indeed said, so if we maybe, for clarification, um, can play it once more, and even I, with my very limited my skills, heard the word note, so I would ask the translators to focus on that part, which is uh, quite soon after the beginning. So with your permission, Mr. President, can we play it once more so that it's clear for all the people in the courtroom? Six the finish, they saw the one round into the air, and then another group came to uh, guard those uh, soldiers. Some little bit, 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 little um, let me start out by thanking you, Mr. President, for allowing us to play this tape in courtroom. I think it really adds to the transparency and uh, the fairness of these proceedings. So, first of all, uh, we appreciate that uh, decision. Um, but, Mr. Pichu Chipse, what we have just heard, my speakers heard it. And I just uh, object to council characterizing this. I understand from my colleague uh, that the reference is not that clear. It's not clear who's speaking. Uh, but he's played the tape. I suggest rather than characterize it himself that he now ask the witness if that refreshes his recollection uh, because uh, I do not believe the tape is as clear. If my Khmer colleague could not hear it, I'm not sure with your limited Khmer uh, how you could. If I understand your objection correctly, Mr. Prosecutor, the prosecutor, the national prosecutor did not hear who was speaking, I um, suggest uh, that we'll follow later um, that we listen to a slightly larger portion of the tape to make the issue at hand entirely clear. But I do agree with you, and that was exactly what I was going to do. Mr. Pichu Chipse, this reference that you just heard, could you describe to us um, whether or not you were indeed at that moment looking at notes or a notebook.
Lúc chụp sai lúc snap xem lên mình để bàn chạm sai lăng bên nhà mình mình đi Tớ bị chia xem lên đã bỏ lúc đại rửa tế Bật mẹ đại rửa tế lúc snap xem lên đi bàn tế Bạn lúc bật thiên để chụp bố Khi nhóm snap bàn mình nó cứ thả Đôi mình mình xem lên khi nhóm mà nó cứ Cái anh ta khi nhóm Xem lên nó khi nông nô việc tựa giang mạch Mình đang biết bà ta xong bắt đầu thiên thật đôi chìa một mẹ thật lệnh khi nhóm anh ấy cứ khi nhóm lúc chìm xe nơi khi nhóm lòng phêl hơi xong phía nâng ta lúc mình bàn xong xong ra tầm mấy tên nôm này thế rừng này lúc thiên khi nhóm có vừa rồi hồ đọc bình này mình chăm thế lúc thiên cứ mình nâng chìa bàn tứ rư còn bàn tứ mình chạm tạm đoạn xong bà to xong nô xe anh chết thường mục tiết cho vì bà rô hợp bánh hà này mình chạm bà lọt đi bà phía xa khám máy bà tạm dương đại chìa bà thiên ông dùm rẻ sát đáp cứ quát xong tờ nôm bằng tay mình tờ nốt bằng tay chê phía xa khám máy mình tờ nốt bằng tay chê mình là tờ nôm buồn nấu đến phía xa bỏ tê, toàn bỏ thay thì do thì do cầm nọt hai, thì do cầm nọt tra, thì Thank you, Mr. President, and I would not dare to argue with you on the Khmer language, obviously, but I would have then a follow-up request. Um, the witness did not deny or contradict that what was being said was indeed relating to notes or a notebook. The witness stated that he did not recognize his own voice. The reason this issue is so crucial to the defense is the following. In this segment of audio tape, it is very clear that the witness is testifying on the um, detention and execution of one more soldiers from the Chikrain market. And in fact, he starts out by saying, and this will be my submission so it cannot be evidence, but he starts out by saying, uh, when asked by the investigators, um, besides the soldiers, uh, were there any other people, for example, public servants? And then the witness answers, according to my observation, there were no public servants. Shortly thereafter, the witness asks, in our understanding, could I see my notebook? And then, Immediately in the answer thereafter, says, and I want to tell you one more thing, uh, there were not only Lono soldiers, but maybe also public servants. It is a clear issue that relates to um, the source of knowledge of this witness. We are perhaps unclear as to who is speaking, even though my team and the my speakers on my team identify the witness as indeed this witness. So to clarify this once and for all, I would ask to play this audio segment, which is um, a little over two minutes. It is surrounds the excerpt that we just heard, but it makes it clear the timeline of events that the witness first states that, uh, according to him, there were no public servants at the detention center in Chikrang, and then after he allegedly looks at, it no, at his notebook, changes that testimony. So, with your permission, Mr. President, and I have told, you, uh, told the courts before I appreciate your decision to allow um, this uh, technique in the courtroom. It will take two and a half minutes. It will clarify whether, indeed, it is the witness that is talking, and it would elucidate 
ຫຼັງຈາກຄະແນນຫຼັງຈາກຄະແນນຫຼັງຈາກຄະແນນຫຼັງຈາກຄະແນນຫຼັງຈາກຄະແນນຫຼັງຈາກຄະແນນຫ
by council for new and shear and secondly it is unclear whether the word used was in fact a reference to notes therefore there is nothing to be there is no uh, purpose in uh, returning to the tape and trying uh, further uh, to uh, understand uh, what was being said and the chamber now asks council for new and to move to his next line of questioning thank you um, thank you, Judge Cartwright. And I understand the ruling. I would make a follow up submission, considering that the witness has not stated that it is not his voice, but has indicated that he doesn't recognize it and that this is possibly due to audio technical reasons because of the echo he himself stated. I would request to have a slightly longer portion of the tape played so that the witness and the people in the courtroom can verify whether or not the voice is, the voice is indeed the voice of the witness or not. I'm not sure why that should be a problem. If indeed we can establish that it is not his voice, fair enough, if indeed this court would establish that it is his voice, the witness uh, would have further explanations to do. So my follow-up submission is, can we play a slightly longer portion of the audio tape so that we can, we can at least establish, and especially the client speakers can establish, whether this uh, part of the audio tape is indeed spoken by this witness, and I would submit that same segment of two and a half minutes would suffice. Thank you, President. Uh, the trial chamber rejects this submission. Uh, it um, uh, is founded on the same principle that it is clear, at least to the Nu and Chia team, that it is the witness speaking. That is unclear to the trial chamber, and moreover, it is also unclear what word was used. You are therefore simply rephrasing the same submission, but in different ways. So could you please move on, Mr. Pope? Judge Cardwright, I'm sorry, I need to persist, but that unclarity would be solved by listening to the audio tape. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 ពីព្រោះពេលវេលាតែមាក់សួរនេះគឺនៅសាល់តែ Another follow-up submission would be that this witness would understand whether or not it is him speaking on that audio tape, and if it is indeed him speaking those words, the witness would clarify which words he is speaking. I'm not sure if we are searching for the truth here, what the harm would be in having the witness A establish whether or not it is his voice, and B, if it is his voice, what the meaning of the words are that he spoke. Again, the truth, that is what we are here to find, and this audio tape would be a very strong instrument to do so. So I'm rephrasing the submission, but the submission would be, can the witness 
identify his own voice on the audio tape, and then, if he does so, clarify to us what the words are that were spoken by him. Thank you, President. Mr. Poe, you have just made the identical submission three times, and the ruling remains. Uh, and uh, I have to remind you that the President said if you do not move on, uh, he will have to infer that you have no other questions. Um, we would not want that to happen, so I will move on, albeit. Um, um, Mr. Witness, is it true that at first you thought that there were only or mostly Lonol soldiers detained in the market at Chikrane? Only to later remember that also Lonol government officials were being detained. Okay. ចំពោះសំណូរដែលលោកសួរអំពីថាតាវាមានការខូបខ្លួនទៅហ៊ានលនលឬមួយក៏មានមន្ត្រីរដ្ឋការពី And do you remember telling the investigators at first that, according to you, there were no uh, civil servants detained at the markets? ដែលត្រូវបានគេគំគ្រឿងនៅផ្សារជាក្រៃនោះទេតែលោកចាំ So, at first, you told the investigators of the co-investigating judge that, according to you, there were no former Lonol government officials detained at the Chikrai Mart. In your testimony before the OCIJ and in your testimony before this trial chamber, you have spoken at length about former Lonol government officials being detained at the Chikrai Why did you first tell the investigators of the co-investigating judges that, according to you, there were no public servants in the or detained in the markets. Yeah, uh, the objection, Mr. President, is that counsel is, is misstating what the witness just said. Uh, the witness has never said that he told the OCIJ investigators there were no public servants there. What the witness said is that he told the investigators that there were military officials 
លោកសាក្សីតាមលោកតាមសាក្ដឹងបាទ <coughs> ខាងសាក្សីសិទ្ធិគឺកេតដូច្នោះមែនក៏ប៉ុន្តែខ្ញុំចង់ឆ្លើយឲ្យច្បាស់ថាសំណួរដែលខ្ញុំឆ្លើ
Thank you. Midway, Samokun. Did you ever prepare any notes relating to your period that you spent with the Khmer Rouge, for example, to avoid forgetting things or to retain memories? ຖືການກັດຕາຕຸກໃນການຈອງຈໍາຂອງລູກຂອງກຳນົດຫາຍຕາລູກຫຼອມມີໄດ້ຮຽບຈໍາຈັ່ງເດບາດເອ່ອ
hands since 1991 Have you seen Mr. Lokar? Mr. Lokar and did you ever speak to him on the phone since 1991? And when Mr. Lokar interviewed you, after the interview, did he give you his notes or a copy of the interview that he prepared? បាទនៅពេលដែលគាត់បានសាក់សួររួចហើយនៅឆ្នាំ Um, when you were being interviewed by the investigators of the OCIJ, did you tell them about any pressure that may have been exerted on you to justify one way or the other? អឺទៅគេទៅវិញទេតើគេមានដាក់សម្ពាធ <coughs> Um, my apologies, Mr. Witness. I certainly do not want to suggest that Mr. Henri Locard would have put any pressure on you. you. It was not in the purpose of my question. The question is a different one. Did you tell the investigators of the OCIJ about someone else, an authority figure? That was putting pressure on you to say certain things. But the jumpu, I don't know. ដោយមានឯកបខាញបានទេថាតើលោកត្រូវការពេលវេលាប៉ុន្មានទៀតក្នុងការសួរសំណួរសាក់សីរូបនេះ <coughs> Thank 
Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the new Chair Defence team will have about 20 more minutes of questions. The Ying Siri team has indicated they would have no more than 10 minutes, and the Kyo Sun Pam team has no questions. So, uh, as far as the defence is concerned, we could finish uh, half an hour after the lunch break, possibly soon. បាទអរគុណច្រើនណាស់ហើយលនេះដោយសារពេលវេលាក៏សំលំមកសម្រាប់ដើម្បីពិសារថ្ងៃ <coughs> I got the car pavilion on time, the Sha on the rest of the person who took a movie of noon, because of no woman so upon tall on height, they on the breath, ban nine norm, or you mean carpet sat in the house, you say to me, which night on the breath of time tune to say Mr. President, if I may briefly respond, I think the math here is pretty simple. The prosecution used the entire afternoon session yesterday. ແລະនេះដល់ពេលសម្រាក់ដើម្បីពិសារថ្ងៃត្រង់ហើយឲ្យមានប្រកាសសម្រាក់ដើម្បីពិសារថ្ងៃត្រង់ចាប់ពីព